Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how I revamped this cute little metal tin to um, be a little bit more my style. I thought that the style of this tin was really cute. It came with some paints and I did not like the paints at all. So I thought, well, instead of being bummed that I wasted some money on this, why don't I make it so that it will work for me? So here you can see the way the tin originally looked. And I took some sandpaper and I sanded off the branding, any of the word printing that was on the tin. Now I've never seen a white watercolor tin before so I thought that was kind of unique and I love the three big mixing areas that the uh, tin had. I originally tried acetone to remove the printing on the tin. It didn't work, but I did figure that acetone would be a really great way to just wipe it down and make sure there was no grease and to make sure that my alcohol ink would stick really well to this project. And then I also uh, removed the inserts and cleaned up my palette that um, uh, that it was left from the last time I used it. I honestly just couldn't bear to look at it again. I was It was just one of those paints that I did not get along with very well. So the first thing I wanted to do was cover up that bare metal and I used some white alcohol ink and this is the pinata brand and I find that white ink um, can clog in your alcohol ink bottle so you might need to pull out that little stopper to get to the ink and I should have probably brushed that on and made it a little thinner because I did have a pr pretty uh, big glop of alcohol ink there not really going to be a big deal but um, if I had brushed it on thinner and let it dry completely before I started this step I think it would have been a little easier alternately you could spray paint it with a white enamel before you began and uh, that way if you had any other color of tin you could have it you could start off with that white color so that you um, would begin with a white tin and my friend Rich had said that he that uh, the alcohol pearls work really well on black surfaces so if you have a black tin you could use the alcohol pearls on that I think that would look really really cute in fact I'm kind of uh, curious to try it myself with one of my many black tins because man they multiply I'm telling you so I'm using some pretty clean and clear colored inks. I'm using the Marabou inks um, and I really like those. They're nice and fresh and bright. And I'm using this old marker spritzer to blow the ink around to get some really cool effects. Now the uh, Tim Holtz Distress line just came out with a like a like a bulb syringe for that. And uh, that gave me the idea to just grab the old marker spritzer that I had from Stampin' Up! like I don't know, 12 years ago and use that for this project. And it worked out really well. So if you have that or you have like one of those, um, you know, marker airbrush things that have the little bulb spritzer, go ahead and give that a try before you buy anything else. Um, or honestly, I would just go to the dollar store and get one of those booger suckers that they sell for babies to get boogers out of little baby noses. Um, I think any of those would work just fine. And then you don't have to breathe in all the, uh, all the fumes. Well, if you want to breathe in the fumes, that's up to you. Uh, like, you know, blowing with a straw or something. And um, I'm just basically putting my inks down in kind of a rainbow order because I want to have some nice bright colors. And I remembered a few years ago that the company Schminka had released a set of watercolors with a really pretty rainbow tin like that. So that's kind of what inspired my... Um, my revamp here, my my redesign of the tin, but I ended up going, since I had my ink a lot thicker than I had intended to, which always happens, I'm really heavy handed with my alcohol ink projects, um, I decided that it would be kind of cool to do it like a galaxy. So um, as I layering up the ink, that's what's kind of going through my mind. And this is actually a fairly quick project. Probably the longest time that you're gonna have here is gonna be the like letting it dry between stages. I also used a product called the Claro Extender, which is from the Pinata line of inks. And what that is, is kind of like, um, it's kind of like a thicker base. Um, it's almost like a solvent, but it's kind of thick. And, and it just helps your ink move a little slower so you can manage it a little bit better. And it does thin it out a little bit. So it's an interesting product that um, you might find useful if you're doing a lot of alcohol ink work. Um, again, that's by the Pinata Company. I like the Pinata inks an awful lot. Um, Tim Holtz Distress inks are lovely too. I just find a lot of their colors are a little on the desaturated side. And I prefer to start with a brighter color, like a more primary color, and then let them mix on my own so I don't get so many browns and muted colors. I like more vibrant colors personally, but that's a personal preference. I think quality wise, all three lines of alcohol ink are equal in quality. Um, I even used a little bit of Copic uh, refill in the yellow area because I needed like a little bit of a warmer yellow so I could get some oranges in there. Um, so it, it all seems to work really well together, especially if you're going to give it a nice top coat when you're done. And I'll um, explain that when we get to it. So here you can see the base coat of all my rainbow colors. It looks really pretty. And don't worry about any spillover on the rest of the tin. You can clean that up. Now, first I actually tried isopropyl alcohol and it didn't work all that great, but the um, pinata 
cleanup solution worked really well for this. So I just squirted a little down and wiped it off with a paper towel and it was easy as pie. Alternately, you could always mask your the bottom of your tin and uh, protect it that way so you don't have that spilling. And honestly, if I did this again, I wouldn't use so much ink, so I don't think I would have so much of a mess. So here you can see where I took the stopper out of my white ink because it was clogging big time. And I'm using a toothbrush just to spatter on some stars onto my Galaxy tin. Now something I want to mention here, look how nice and bright that looks right now. The colors underneath are going to leach up into that white ink. So if you want your stars to stay really, really bright, you want that bright white speckle, let it dry completely. And I would use an acrylic paint or an acrylic ink for that. Um, or you could spray it over your top coat. And for my top coat, I'm using polycrylic by Minwax because it's water-based and I know the water-based top coat is not gonna interfere with the solvent alcohol-based ink underneath. It's sometimes if you use spray paint, like a clear spray paint, there are solvents in that spray paint and it will either make your ink um, kind of a uh, buckle and wrinkle and shrink or it will make it move. Sometimes it will drive with like a sticky finish. So I just wanted to avoid all that and go with a completely different type of solvent. Just make sure it's completely dry before you do that. And I put a little bit too much. Man, the the method of uh, the moral of this of this project is don't be so heavy handed. And there you can see it all dry. I think it is so cute. I love the white tin. And um, I just think it's so useful to have those three big mixing areas on the top. And I dug the paint out of the palette, which I have not tossed paint in years because usually even your your cheaper palettes are you know the paint's useful for something but man I just disliked that paint so much that I didn't even want to look at it again so I dug out the pans washed them and put them back in so I can fill it up with some of my preferred paints please give me a thumbs up if you like this project until next time happy crafting